Hello, um, my name is Robert Rankin and I am standing here in the Gunnersbury Park Museum uh, which is hosting an exhibition of my work right up until July this year. One of the things about this exhibition is that it features a great deal of artwork from my books and I'm very lucky for about the last 10 or so years publishers have let me put my own stuff on the front of the books so I thought well if I make my own models I can just do them for on the cheap and then I end up to keep the models afterwards. So um, this wonderful exhibition here has got all my shoes and, and with wings and creatures coming out of top hats and the, um, the FA Cup made out of beer bottle tops. We're going to use the exhibition space to launch the new book which is called Necrophenia and I'm kind of thrilled about that because Necrophenia is my 30th book. It's set in 1963 it begins and it moves all the way up to the year 2007 and it follows the exploits of um, a character who's based on my little grandson, Tyler, and who joins a rock and roll band and then gets into the worst trouble in the world because there is a human being called a homunculus, which is created through magic. And you can only create one every century through very high magic. And it's always the, he becomes the most evil being of every century. You know, it's all those horrible historical figures like Hitler and such like, they're all actually half human, half demon, you know. And uh, he spends about 50 years of his life warring with this particular demon whose only desire is to turn Earth into a completely dead planet, a necrosphere, where there's nothing living at all, not even bacteria. So I would like to sing a song which is based on what I do, which is writing far-fetched fiction, and I would like to sing it in the George Formby style to the tune of When I'm Cleaning Windows. Now, I don't have my ukulele with me, so you'll have to imagine it's a kind of air ukulele of which I will be miming. I may do a little strumming to intro it, okay? It goes like this, writing far-fetched fiction by Robert Rankin. Now I write far-fetched fiction to earn a couple of bob. For a lazy blighter, it's really the ideal job. I sit in pubs for hours and hours. I drink Harveys, I drink flowers. Then I go home for golden showers, writing far-fetched fiction. I sit about and sit about. I sometimes get my ballpoint out. It really makes the barmaid shout, writing far-fetched fiction. In my profession, I work hard, but no one gives a pluck. It's blinking J.K. Rowling, who rakes in every buck. I drink until my guts explode. I stumble drunken down the road. I wish I'd written the Da Vinci Code instead of far-fetched fiction. <laughs> Writing far-fetched fiction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.